how did you land that job? How did you get the job as the hype man and host for the Golden State Warriors? I was the opening act for Hilary Duff because she didn't have an opening act. So I had to stretch 15 minutes of hype. Sold out 18,000 screaming teens, moms, <laughs> glow sticks in the air. And I said, okay, this is a long time for 15 minutes, but I'm gonna do it. And I dug in deep, put all out there, and the Warriors executives were backstage with their young daughters. They said, you just commanded an entire audience of 20,000. How? Can you work for us? I said, well, as what? I'm not an announcer. No, no, we need a host. For basketball, so we're the first teams to do a host. You know, now every NBA arena, sporting event, they have hosts now, right? right? right. And so that's how it started. And they said, why don't you do a, host a few TV things on camera, big screen, right? Jumbotron. Okay, great. Then they're like, oh, you got a good voice. Can you do the uh, little starting lineup? Just give me a little sample. And I was like, <laughs> and now you're gold. And still like, whoa, 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 yes. Do that again. And then preseason, regular season, you're our hype guy. And then fourth quarter time, Franco, get the fans up. We're, we're about to win because we didn't win a lot back then. So we needed the crowd every little bit. And guess what? Hype man was born. They said, Franco, fourth quarter, just do what you got to do. Hype him up. So I used to get up, stand up on my chairs. I used to have these white sunglasses, put it on. I said, alter ego, Superman, make some noise. Fourth quarter time, Dub Nation. And then that's just how it started. The best part about my job, I would have to say is the joy that fans feel when they're in the arena. When I'm there and I'm the, the man that's gonna get this place hyped up, charged up for your favorite team, win, lose, hopefully mostly wins, but to get it over the top, that feeling, you know when rock stars, they perform and they say, oh my God, are you ready? They, they scream, ah, are you sure you're ready? Like that audience back and forth, that's better than any high in the world. Adrenaline. Oh, the adrenaline, because when you say Dog Nation in this playoffs, Everybody are you ready that. for the NBA Finals? Ah, it's just like, it chills. It sets you in a different world. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about it. Like, you can take people those places. Now, the FIBA World Cup, Global Games, I mean, this is, this is a dream come true. They asked who should host the FIBA World Cup, and it started a while ago. But they said, let's save Franco for the final phase. I said, what? I thought it was fake when they direct messaged me in my you know, Instagram. I said, what? The energy is on another level. We got the best dancers. I thought the NBA games, they're good. We're fun, right? We got all the theatrics and stuff. Oh, they took it to another level. It, it's pretty awesome. I still get chills and goosebumps when I see dancing entertainment, the lights, the sound. It, it never gets old for me. What are your tips and advice so to the young people who would want to follow your footsteps? I'm different. You gotta own your, your uniqueness and you have to set your best foot forward. Just do it. 